Hi, I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Lucy Sandwich. Welcome to the BS on the Internet. Well, it's been another one of those weeks. Yes, it has. And, and, you know what's been different about this week? What? Is that there were big stories that dominated the whole week rather than a bunch of little like do 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 Yeah. You know, didn't it seem that way? Yeah. That there was just like a, a bunch of stuff. Definitely some big stuff this week, yeah. Yeah, so I feel like out like the entire week I was thinking about the same things yeah. during the week. Yeah, Like, well, we're going to talk about the hurricane. Yes. I've been thinking about that every day. And oh my gosh, have we started listening to Mac Miller yeah, like, like it's, a, it's a shame we're too late. Yeah. Ever ever since we uh, we were talking about him on the last uh, BS on the Internet, and he had just died, I think, and we were like, oh, we should listen. Like, we knew a couple of songs. We really didn't know any. And we have just been listening to his album, Swimming, which came out last month. Like, no. Yeah, I don't think Lissy's listening to anything else. <laughs> no, like, straight. It's so good. So good. And it's and it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. Because, you like, you're, you're discovering somebody that's... You know, that you're like, oh my gosh, I found a new musician, new artist that I like. Yeah. Cool. And you just want to binge all of their stuff and then realize that you're like at the end point. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I yeah, it's of, cool. It's cool you, stuff. Do you like that feeling of finding a new band to you that is actually old? So you have the whole, it would be like binging a TV series. Yeah. Like front to end. Do you like mm -hmm. that? Or would you rather like live in the. I'd, I'd like much live rather live band. in live in like the air of the band. Really? Totally. And be because listening to them one by that's one. That's when they're they like, then you're not listening to something that like, oh, it's already been rehashed and redone over and over again later. You're listening to something happening yeah. for the first time. Right. While it's still in the artist's prime, and while you still have then more stuff to look forward to from that artist coming later. Right. You know, that is, yeah. that's a really important part of it, I think. If yeah. it, like, it, it sucks, like, it's all, it's almost a bummer to actually go the other way. Right. To be like, it's like, oh man, I'm just, I'm really into Michael Jackson now. I just heard a lot of his <laughs> stuff. It's like, well, yeah. I mean, like, I hope you like it because that's all you're ever going to get. I mean, like, that's like, you know, Nirvana, you know, mm -hmm. that's yeah. the only, no more Kurt Cobain, I, you know? I'm kind of divided because in one way, living with the band or a musician, whatever, as they're going through their career, to me, is kind of like reading one chapter of a book like every couple of years when I just want to read the whole book. Mm -hmm. But so when I have whole books, and to tell you the truth, I mean, if I'm continuing this metaphor, <laughs> I tend to find older groups and then go through everything. So I do the book reading. So mm -hmm. when I'm in like with somebody currently, I'm kind of like, when's the next, when's the next one coming, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it just, it so, just means like there's a, there's a special kind of like feeling for you know, learning like that chapter mm -hmm. as well as you do learn it when there is nothing else to check out. Yeah, yeah. And then you're so familiar with it that mm. seeing where they go with the next one ends up being a discovery. Yeah, and like, like, oh my God, yeah. they went to this area with it and it's, mm -hmm. and it's influenced by the things that are happening in the time. Right. So it's a definitely a different perspective, but I can totally see what you're saying too. Where like, it's not like you don't go through just as deeply, right. you know, when yeah. you find something like that in the past, but you're still not getting how it was relevant at the time. Mm. You know, that's a good basically. point. Basically. But we digress. Anyway. Moving on. Okay, so I know we talked about Henry Cavill before. Yes. But the drama llama has come yeah. to the DC Universe yeah. because yeah. now there's talk and it's like it's changing like day by day that Henry Cavill is out as Superman, but then it was debunked. And he put up this video on his Instagram, like holding up uh, like his act his action figure or something, and then ending it. So really, as of right now, Friday night, 10 o'clock. Nobody knows what's going on. Oh, I didn't know it was debunked. What yeah, debunked yeah, it? it was debunked. So it says, I clicked on this one because it was the most recent one that came up. Okay. So it says that a statement came out that said, uh, oh wait, let's see. Da, 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 da. Follow up reports suggested that DC was already looking at replacements, but then DC made an official statement suggesting that none of it was true. To top it all off, Cavill posted a cryptic video on social media that provided Oh, that was the picture if, like, of his figure, right? Yeah, he's he had, holding yeah. up his action figure. Yeah. yeah. So nobody really knows what's going on. Maybe but... it's not true. I really hope it's not true. Really? I'm just going to say I really hope it's not true. I think he's a really good Superman. I think it's the yeah. first time I've been excited about Superman since Christopher Reeve. Yeah. I mean, he looks decades like ago. Superman. Yeah. Oh, he, he yeah. Looks he had, like, no one, I don't think, who else could they put there that looks as much like Superman as he does? If I had no idea who he was, yeah. and I saw him walking down the street, yeah, I'd be, would like, be oh, like, oh, that dude looks like that Superman. That looks like Superman. <laughs> yeah. He really looks just, just like him. Yeah. 
And but but he also up. happens to be a very good actor, too. Yeah. You know, not just a guy that looks the part. Right. So he's very good at playing the part. Mm -hmm. um, I thought Man of Steel was really good. I've been always really excited about, like, another Just Solo Superman movie. We never got it. I know. You know, we, they I went know. right on to uh, Batman versus Superman, you know, and they went and then they did Justice League. And it's yeah. like, just give me another Superman movie. I, I, he should have gotten three, in my opinion. Yeah. I think yeah. he should have gotten his three and yep. then they could have moved on or whatever. Mm -hmm. But this is coming out in light of Ben Affleck leaving. Yes. Well, Batman. he has some different reasons, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think he's in he's in rehab. I, you know, I mean, I, don't, I haven't read that there was a direct so correlation there. Yeah, yeah. But like, uh, or there's any cause and effect there necessarily. But it seems to me that timing would not surprise me as much he's because it, it kind of got peppered time. out that he's he's having a hard time. He's in rehab. And uh, so I'm thinking like, well, if they want to move forward with the movie, he's clearly that's not going fine. to be there. Yeah, yeah okay. but that made sense. Sure. You know, Henry Cavill getting getting ousted didn't make sense to me. Right. I mean, I don't know. I, we probably see more Batman than any other Maybe. superhero. Well, you know what? You know? They were, How many Batman? I saw been? somebody. Clooney, Val Kilmer. Yeah, yeah. You know? I, I read an article about it, um, and I forget. There was somebody in the biz that said, we're looking at, or DC looks at their Superman, Batman, almost like James Bond, where you got to change it every once in a while. You got to change your Batman. Yeah, I don't see. I don't mind that um, so, so much, yeah, though. Yeah, but I feel like he just didn't get it. Yeah, I feel like he hasn't change. had his run yet. I, I know they have to change him at some point. Of course they do. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't feel at all like he was done. Right. It felt like he's Superman in his prime right now. Yes. So you'd yes. want to leave him there. Right. I thought Ben Affleck was a very good Batman. Yeah, yeah. Much better than I expected him to be. Same. And uh, I thought he was a very good Bruce Wayne, too. Oh, so sure. it's kind of like I wanted to see him continue to do his a thing. A better Bruce Wayne than Batman. I yeah, 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 probably yeah. a little bit better Bruce Wayne than Batman. Sure, sure. Um, although I felt that way about Christian Bale, too. I thought he was a better Bruce Wayne than Batman. That's true. Uh, but anyway. That's American Psycho. <laughs> yeah. that super clean cut, yeah, yeah, like business like, gentleman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Worked really Watch well Watch American that. Psycho if you had it. Yo, if yeah. you haven't yet. Yeah. Make sure there's no kids in the room. No kids in the room. No. But I don't know. It's like... And I, th I think the thing that I remember reading uh, that maybe that's debunked, I don't know, that they're trying to steer into Supergirl. Oh, okay. Yeah, you like, did mention that. Who she already has a, uh, a TV series. So it's yeah, kind of yeah. like, do we really need to then steer the movie series in that direction? And then I think there's something about the timeline of Supergirl where I think Cal L was like an infant or a child. Oh, sure, yeah. So he so wouldn't, wouldn't fit. Right, right. He right. wouldn't if they really want to go hardcore with Supergirl. So he'd be then aged he wouldn't, out. In he'd be a way. aged out, and yeah. then he wouldn't have any. And especially if they do what they've been doing, and then have Supergirl with somebody else. Sure. But then Superman couldn't be in that. Yeah. So I, I yeah. guess they're, if they do that, they almost have to oust the Superman character altogether. Mm -hmm. And then I guess by the time they're ready to come back around to it, they're going to need somebody new because it'll be a, later on. Right. Henry Cavill will probably be too old. Yeah. So it's, I don't know. Right. It's I just know. a bummer. I hope what they're not do doing you... it. I hope we at least get something more. Yeah. If anything, if they were thinking about getting rid of him, not, not getting rid of him, parting ways, should I say. If they were thinking about that, now they've seen the backlash. They've seen how people have reacted to it. So maybe everybody's reaction is helping them make up their minds a little bit. Yeah, somebody could have floated it out there to kind of test the waters. Yeah. I, it's yeah I'm sure couples do that all the time, right? Oh, yes. Start before rumor. they make a real yeah. a real decision, they like they go and Think. leak it out there a little bit and see what everybody says. Yeah. And so maybe if they hadn't made a call yet, maybe that was enough. Hey, if that worked, great. <laughs> Thank you, Twitter. You know, yeah, if they ended yeah. up saving him being Superman, but if not, I guess we'll just be moving on. At least we'll be able to have him as Geralt yeah, of Rivia, and so he's, I'm he's excited moving about on that. To, uh, maybe and he's doing other movies. Yeah, or if we're going to go real, like, foil hat here. Okay. Maybe it's Henry Cavill, like, Real, like rumoring, like putting rumoring, rumoring? Not, is that a rumoring? Putting out a rumor about this because I think he's a little bit worried about being like characterized, you know. So he you mean did like pigeonhole, like yes, typecast? pigeonhole, yes, okay. typecast, yeah. But like he has character, not characterized in the yeah. like his character. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying when I'm typecast. saying characterized? Yeah. Yes. So I, but by him doing the Mission Impossible and doing mm. Geralt and kind of which and I, I haven't seen, but I heard that he was really good at yeah, yeah. Mission Impossible. So he's starting to. To kind of go mm, a little bit and kind of you know hope that people when they see his face they think Henry Cavill and not Superman yeah you know because that's, that is an issue that's, yeah. a, that's an issue and that's a legit concern especially sure. since he seems like his acting chops go well beyond oh for sure the Superman character yeah, and he's young in his career yet, yeah so yeah he's still got know? a lot of career left. but he could have rolled out Superman like crazy and still have plenty of career left right you know yeah, I mean like true. so I'm really I'm still hoping he sticks with it because I don't know if they if they announce the next Man of Steel movie I'd be super psyched about that true. you know true and I hate to bring your attention to this, but what is Leonardo DiCaprio doing here? 
Yeah. I have been staring at this this entire time. What is this situation? <laughs> 25 forget forgettable 90s teen movies only super fans remember. I've been looking at this like, what is prepubescent Leonardo DiCaprio? Let's move on, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you if you haven't seen in the news, um, there's a big, fat, freaking crazy-ass hurricane hitting <laughs> Hurricane Florence, yeah. hitting yeah. North and South Carolinas. Uh, it's a pretty big freaking deal. Yeah. I know right now, I think there's a ton of rain that's been dropped, right? I think they're measuring it in feet at yeah. this point. Yeah, like last it, I checked, it was two feet. And that wow. Was, and that was this afternoon. And it's and now it's 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, it's That's even more than they had forecasted. Yeah. Oh, Because I heard like up to 20 inches. 16 inches of rain. Right okay, now, okay. With another 20 to 25 on the oh, way. An additional 20 to 25. Oh, my God. Wow. I know. This is going to so be. Are, yeah, it's like three feet then. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is like, it, it's making me so, so nervous because. Um, it got really, like, it ramped up real fast. And I was reading about it, and it said that this isn't going to be, like, you know, Hurricane Harvey that had a bunch of rain or Andrew that had a bunch of wind or uh, Katrina that had storm surges. This is all of those. Yeah. In one hurricane doing all three, rain and wind and storm surges. So it's just insane. And, they're try and they tried, now it's here, they're like to get people out, to get people to evacuate. And there are still people that feel like they could ride it out or wait it out. And I never know how to feel about this. Part of me uh, wants to shake them and be like, leave. Yeah, I mean, you would think and now we've had too many recent, very recent examples yeah. of hurricanes that have completely destroyed areas. Yeah. Um, so it's like, let's not mess around. These are happening. No. And like, when we're hearing these forecasts, like as these other ones were predicted, that wasn't like, you know, sensationalizing or anything like that. It no. wasn't an exaggeration. They ended up no. being as bad as they thought they might be. So let's take it seriously when these guys are saying yeah. it's going to be this bad. And now we're seeing it happen. This is right here. A mother and an infant were killed. A tree fell into their home in Wilmington. And look at this. The police said the father was taken to a hospital. So he <gasps> lived and lost his wife and infant. Why? I can't even imagine. Why were they home? I can't imagine. Yeah, why were they home? Why I mean, they home? That's maybe the there's some reason. Maybe there's some head. reason. I don't know their specific situations. Maybe, I, I hope it wasn't like, we'll just wait it out. And maybe I hope some it wasn't just like, that. I know some people think that. Well, but like, no, it's I, I, that's I, the problem. I mean, like, yeah. if there's other people that have some extenuating circumstance that makes it extremely difficult to get out, I don't know what it could be, but I imagine there's got to be some reason out there. Something. That's reasonable. Yeah, maybe. And, yeah. and maybe they had that, but it's you really hope that if you can get out, you just get out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They have they have shelters. They have these things set up. They're evacuating hospitals. If they're, I mean, they have evacuated <sighs> all the hospitals. Man. So if there's anybody who had reason to stay, it's the people it's in the, the hospitals, hospitals, you yeah. know? Yeah. But um, I was reading... Uh, an article a little while ago about people who were choosing to stay in this one town like this neighbor's staying this neighbor's not staying and one neighborhood of uh seemingly elderly people said they wanted to stay and wait it out because they had their houses built to withstand 160 mile an hour winds will be fine my belongings are all i have i i really do believe that it's a lot about belongings and sense of self yeah you know because they'll think well what if i have nothing to come back to if i leave it will and they think that like in some way they're responsible that being that they didn't stay with their things, you that, know, that would have made a difference. Fault. They could that have, that they could have blocked other stuff yeah, before yeah. the storm, you know? Yeah, and like, for yeah, sure. Sorry. Some people feel like, <laughs> that's okay. Some people feel like it's their, um, it's their identity. Their yeah. things are their identity, like yeah. orders, yeah. you know? And they would rather stay and wait and possibly die mm -hmm. than go through all of it. Some people said they don't want to deal with the traffic mm -hmm. of coming back in mm -hmm. after the storm is gone, you know? And I'm like, you're going to die. Yeah. You're gonna die, and then I worry about the emergency personnel who have to go in. And yeah, go. they're putting just, their lives at risk. Yeah, yeah. I just saw um, this evening, right before we put the baby to bed, that there was a, a town that had 150 people in it. That the town was evacuated, 150 people stayed, and they decided to wait it out. And now they're going crazy looking for emergency help.
This happens and, every time. Yep. And they're trying every time. to get to. They're trying to get to. Yeah. Them, and they can't. And yeah. these and these rescuers are risking their lives. I know I'm really harping on this one like issue, but I this is probably the number one thing that I worry about when these kinds of things happen is just getting everybody out. Yeah. The people that stayed. What's going to happen to them? And like. I know. You, you hope this is going to be it, but there's a lot more to happen. You just hope that everybody else gets through this relatively unscathed, or at least you know with just minor injuries, maybe. But like, it's crazy. Look at that. Six hundred thousand homes businesses were out without power in North Carolina. Nearing nearly 2,100 flights have been canceled. Wow. And 11 million Americans live in areas under storm watches in the morning. So it's now, how that's a long lot is this of gonna people be going to be affected by this. How long is this going to be going around? Because I know a that question. it's, it's going to kind of come like a question mark. Like it's yeah, I think go it's going like to come further thing. inland, go, right? Bleh. Now, that's a little scary because we're like right here. Yeah, no, by the time it gets, we never, we never <laughs> end like, up getting any meaningful piece of these of these storms. Nah, they come right. around a lot and it always ends up being like, maybe we'll get a thunderstorm, you yeah, know? We had thunder snow one time. We did, yeah, we had thunder snow many times. I mean, we've had snow storms, but not hurricanes. That's true. You know, we get... We get hit by some pretty bad snowstorms occasionally. We had Hurricane Sandy up yes. there, but it did not hit us. It, was... it, it didn't hit. It didn't hit inland, it, no, it, but no, it no. did mess up the shore a good bit. Yeah, and but it wasn't Western like either. this. I mean, no. we don't get these like major Category Fours, you know, coming right. in. That's. Uh, Huh, yeah. I don't and know. We, and they um, come directly over. I think Hurricane Sandy, I don't even think, went directly over the land. Did it? Didn't it kind of like skirt by? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't remember. It did a lot of damage, oh, God, though. Do you remember that Stronger Than the Storm song? Oh, no. Guys, Buzz we're Stronger Than stronger the Storm. Than the storm. There, there, oh. It sounded like freaking Coldplay. There, there was this. Oh. I like Coldplay, but it sounded, oh. you know, in a at bad the, way, it sounded like Coldplay. Uh, at the time, the governor was Chris Christie here. And uh, they had a Stronger Than the Storm song and music video to kind of prove to the people of Philly and Jersey the and New, New York that, we were, storm. that we're stronger, we're than, this. stronger than the and storm. And it's people like holding hands on the beach and like walking in a straight line, yeah. you know. And it was like, it wasn't that nonstop, that commercial. Yes. It was oh on the radio. Oh, it was on the, the TV radio. all the time. Oh, it and We watched awful. YouTube. It would show up in oh, YouTube commercials between videos. Terrible. I mean, it was it was crazy. Uh, but oh. like, I don't know. It I mean, it was. It meant well. It went well. I mean, like. It's around, at least around our area, in contrast to the kind of weather we normally get. It was yeah. pretty severe and did a lot of damage, right. you know, and it, it messed things up a lot. But it was not freaking hurricanes. No. It, like, it wasn't Hurricane Katrina. It wasn't right. Hurricane Florence. Yeah. It wasn't any of these recent hurricanes that have been like completely ravaging and leveling towns. I, I mean, it wasn't like that. Have uh, have any of you? And well, actually, the at the same time, there's a typhoon. Is there? Right now, oh like right now, there's God. this typhoon. But have any of you ever been through like a hurricane? Yeah, a I'd be curious to hear your like personal story. A tornado or an stuff. earthquake or yeah. something. We had one earthquake here. I think we've talked about this before. Maybe about like six, <laughs> seven years ago. About it. Yeah. Yeah, it was really crazy. And then we had this hurricane, but we. No, but the earthquake was like. Here. I literally didn't even notice that it happened. Yeah. Like yeah. it. That's how. That's how. That's how I amazing felt. of an earthquake it was. I felt. I had somebody. I was standing. I don't know if I've told this story on this before but i was i was at work right yeah. and i was at like standing at like the edge of a well, cubicle wall talking to somebody else sitting at down yeah. at their desk and we're talking about like you know this thing at work like work 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 and then like somebody comes walking in next to us and goes like did you guys just feel that we're like feel what what are you talking about like, everything just like shook for a little bit it was like some shaking we're like wow i didn't didn't notice maybe they're working on the roof or something i don't, I don't know and he's like wow huh and then walked away. Then, like later on, I got home and everyone's like, "There was an earthquake today. Everything shook." Yeah. I'm like, "What? What, you, what happened?" Crazy. Yeah. And there was like a it. meme I saw with a lawn chair knocked over and it said, "Like never forget." Oh no, right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's pretty right. good. Pretty yeah. Good. It was yeah. No, crazy. we we never get earthquakes. If if the yeah. if the if the ground moves at all, it's a freaking event, and it's like holy crap. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is anyway. I know some of you are used to them, like out. Uh, that's California. scary. If you're ever I used, if you're used to earthquakes, that was a weird feeling. move. I mean, for God's sake, that's something you should never be used but to. But California, and I know, I know, and California's amazing yes. until, it's, mm. until it's an island. <laughs> oh, gosh, it just yeah. breaks off it at the breaks off, San yeah. Andreas fault and just takes off. Well, another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Yes. With the <laughs> this one isn't quite as controversial. This is pretty much like, is a bad guy. This guy, well, if, if, you, know, if you don't like, know what we're talking about. There's less mystery around this one. Yeah, Les Moonves, who is the CEO of CBS, which like huge, huge, um, has just been accused of 
crazy sexual harassment. Not, I mean, it, it's all horrible, but you know, not like comments like physically holding people down and forcibly kissing them and, you know, threatening them. And then to add insult to injury, ruining their careers. Yeah, he's another guy who uses like stature ways. to, to uh, just mess people's careers yeah, up. Yeah, when you're abusing your power yeah. that you've been trusted with, it, it just makes it so much more, it like twists the knife, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It, it's humiliating. And for the longest time, a lot of these women didn't want to come out, of course, because they're worried about career suicide. But now with Harvey Weinstein and this whole thing that's going on with him, you know, women are feeling empowered to say something. And um, yeah, you know, this guy, multiple allegations, this guy, this six, is definitely a particular person who had more. to have been shaking when when Harvey Weinstein got busted. Because right. it's, it's like he's like, uh oh, right. You and know, it's Ronan Farrow are, they're, they're, again. You know, yeah, they're, the pitchforks are coming out. Right. You know, right. the natives are restless. I know, I know. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I know he was going to step down. Everybody knew he was going to step down. But there was a lot of discussion on whether or not he was going to get like a severance or should he even get a severance? And um, I think that they negotiated that he would that like I think his severance would be donated or a portion of his severance would be donated. Something there's something like that. I think they said that he wasn't going to get anything pending an investigation. Okay, so they're so going to look deeper. They're well, they're either going to look deeper or they're just delaying it so that maybe they can kind of sneak it out later. Right. They, he'll come away with something. Yeah. They, well, you know. You I, know what was what was creepy about this is it says and this really caught me off guard. It says in recent months he had become a prominent voice in the Me Too movement. He uh, helped. Found a commission on eliminating sexual He's trying to hide harassment. In plain sight. Yes, and advancing equality in the workplace, which is chaired by Anita Hill. Oh my God! Who, if, if you don't know who <laughs> Anita Hill is, look her up. She accused uh, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas of uh, sexual harassment. It was a big thing, and I guess it was the '80s. Now that I think about it, it was during his uh, his uh, hearings, right? Yeah. To see if he would be uh, confirmed, confirmed, as the Supreme yeah. Court. and he did, and he's there he got now. Confirmed, yeah. And I remember not too long ago, he spoke his first word, I think, in five years. They said he just sits <laughs> What did he pick? Yeah, I know. I know. It's like, what did he say? Like, I know. But, you know, hey. Cheesesteak. But, uh, yeah, he's saying he he hid in plain sight, like yeah. you said. But, uh, yeah, they have, it's been this long thing. And uh, this Ronan Farrow, man, this is really, really something. Uh, yeah, I wonder who he's, he's, he's got to have, like... There's there's people there. He has some sources. There's like yeah. uh, like uh, it's interesting how he's the one breaking all this stuff. Somebody right. is telling him some stuff. Right. You know. Well, you know what I find interesting about Ronan Farrow and a lot of people as well is that he he's a reporter for the New Yorker, of course, but he his mother is Mia Farrow, and his father is believed is he says is Woody Allen, right? Who himself was accused. Yes. And some people are saying that he has a, a bias. He's out to look because this has affected his own family. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, but you know what's really crazy? Oh, my God. <laughs> they think his the dad, look what he looks like. They, they're they saying his dad is not Woody Allen, who, if you don't know who Woody Allen is, looks like this. Yes. Right? And Does not here, look like Ronan here is Ronan Farrow. Right? Yeah, it does they not say, look like Woody Allen. They say his dad is really Frank Sinatra. Does he? And he looks just like Frank Sinatra. He looks just like Frank Sinatra. Yeah, look at this. But Mia Farrow was with Frank Sinatra, right? Yes, look yeah. at that. Yeah, that is his they, kid. They look. But it's it's guys. unacknowledged. Oh my gosh. Guys. Tea bags thrown everywhere. Yeah. Tea bag for you. Tea bag for you. I mean, oh they were my together. God. Mia Farrow and Frank Sinatra they were, were together. So they it's were. like a, this kid. Mia Farrow yeah. was the. Uh, here's Mia Farrow. I'll show you Mia Farrow if you don't know who she is. Hold on. Mia Farrow. <laughs> this is really. <laughs> I know. Here's Mia Farrow. Okay. And uh, she was in a Rosemary's Baby. Baby in the 60s, oh, yeah, yeah, big yeah. actress. She had the short, short hair. She's been through a lot of stuff, but she was with Woody Allen for years and years. And, um, you know, she was dating Frank Sinatra as well. But, oh, my gosh, like, <laughs> come on now. You know, Woody Allen is, you know, is, you know, his movies are wonderful. I'm. Do you believe, though, I mean, all of that aside, that that would give him a bias towards towards witch hunting, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I mean, to try and find this because I know him and his siblings all sit on different sides of the fence. Yeah, I mean, in regards to his own family. I don't understand 
what that is even supposed to mean. Like, <laughs> does that mean he's interested Ooh. in uncovering sexual misconduct in major industries? Like, yeah, that's terrible. That he, that something <laughs> made him interested in, in like, but it's like that just means it's an interest. Somebody goes into journalism because they want to talk about a thing, right? And when they get to the point that they can talk about that thing, whatever freaking happens to be, they do it if they can. Mm -hmm. He very well, very well may have gotten into journalism, and be like, I'm gonna figure out people like this, yeah, and um, because I've seen what it does, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna find people like this, right? Okay, yeah, like. And do this it is, then. And this is clearly well investigated. And yeah, I mean, it's, it, and, the guy is—he's doing big things that like are turning out to be—he's he's saying a lot of things that are turning out to be true. Right. Um, I haven't seen like you know, admittedly, like if there's maybe there's stuff that he is. I don't know if there's stuff he's pointed out that turned out to not be true. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. that, but I, I I know that um there's there's been things that he's turned out that certainly have ended up being true. So, mm -hmm. um, it's yeah. he's broke big stories that have caught that have started big movements mm -hmm. um and uh it's become a very very big thing i just it's strange that people would, would say that his motivation for doing it is somehow unjust yeah, or something or inappropriate feel like he he would have some like some need for kind of you know professional revenge maybe he does or you know some or that some doesn't make this any less true that's true that's how i feel. you know that's I mean, how i feel okay yeah some people think that i mean in this age of you know where people are distrusting journalism and the journalists themselves are vetted and or not it's vetted. Just journalism just you know? go do your homework on it but yeah you know? yeah but the the idea of uh, I, I just hate the idea, getting back to the original subject, of powerful men using their position to kind of, you know, um, you know, shape a woman's career or unshape a woman's career, put them in that position where they feel like they have to decide on whether or not to to say something and bring somebody down, which can be very well, that was expensive. Well, that was protection and, for a person like this, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. That was basically like, that's, that's why he felt, and somebody like Harvey Weinstein, that's why they feel like they're in a position to do something because they know they can get away with it because they know that nobody's going to say anything. Right. Louis C.K. was like that too. Yeah, yeah. You Bill know? Cosby. Yeah, yeah Bill Cosby. I mean, like, it's powerful, a lot of people. people. Yeah. That's interesting. It's an interesting kind of like parallel story mm -hmm. to this whole thing. Next to actual sexual assault, right, it was just straight up abuse of power. Right. Um, usually they went hand in hand. Very mm -hmm. often they went hand in hand, and that's what we're finding. But it's telling two stories and where they cross. You right. know, it's it's interesting to see how how much that is as much of an issue as the outright sexual assault has right been. i mean if they're not quite one of the same mm -hmm. but they're like equally important right you know i know exactly what you it's, mean it's interesting and to see how then, that's come out you know how do you how do you solve a problem like this short from really raising your boys right yeah. you know or making sure that there is equality in the workplace yeah. you know can you because there is like a certain um like the men are of a certain age, there's a certain generation mm -hmm. of men that feel like they could get away with this. Mm -hmm. And then there's this new upcoming generation who kind of gets it. And are, I mean, it's still there, of Maybe. course. It's still there. It's still you know? there. It will always be there in some way yeah. until, you know, however many years go by, decades or whatnot. And then it'll kind of settle out. Nobody's ever really happy. But still, you know, this kind of old school way of doing business is kind of, yeah. you know, it's coming out. But at least in this, I mean, you talk about like, what can we do short of like raising our kids, right? I mean, yeah. there's also uh, the fact that this is happening now. Because yeah, these yeah. people that thought they were invincible before, right. now now everybody else is seeing that these people aren't invincible. Mm -hmm. So it's going to make other people second guess it, right. basically. Be like, oh, maybe I would get caught. Right. You know, I mean, like if you, if, you can't, if you can't change people's minds and make people better, yeah. at least you can make them, make them see that they could get caught. Yes. And make them seem vulnerable so that yeah. it doesn't happen as, as long as the output is that it doesn't happen happen right you know i i do know that there's a big less. concern yeah that there's a big concern and rightly so about um false allegations yeah and there should be, I, you yeah, know there should be and i really like some people will say like oh it was just one you know she could be lying or or whatever mm -hmm. and i mean you could say it just takes one and then more will come out you mm -hmm. know, like uh, with sometimes Bill Cosby, it happens, sometimes, sometimes that it happens. doesn't. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, they aren't telling the truth and they're out for like, you know, for revenge or something like that. But I really strongly feel that anybody who makes a false allegation for this kind of thing, like you got to go to jail or something. man. Yeah, there's got to be a you real gotta, consequence. You got to have that. a stiff penalty because that is messed Yeah, just like you got to scare people to to away from doing this in the first place. You got to scare people away from from false right. claiming. Like, you that better be done sure because those people yeah. then will use that as an abuse of power. And it's the same problem. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. and, then, and then it ends up being just a repeat again. And like it's just as bad. I mean, not just as bad. 
Well, in, in some ways, if you take the sexual assault part like, aside, mm -hmm. it's just as bad as the abusive power angle. Oh, like right? the smearing. And yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. Sure. be like, I'm going to okay. say this because I know it's going to put me in a powerful and invincible position. Yeah. And I'm going to say it. It's the same kind of thing in that yeah. regard, you know, and ruin somebody's life if they want to. And right. there's people that will try to do that. There's people who have tried to do that. Fortunately, so far, it looks like a lot of them have been pretty bad at it. Yeah. That have tried <laughs> to do it. Um, yeah, and ultimately, people want some kind of yeah. proof or. Um, and it's a lot of, you know, we're getting to, a, we are, I feel like. Like culturally, we are we're getting to a point then, like where we can appreciate what's happening here, yeah. and also still be mindful and careful of, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, false allegations. Right. So it's that's something we're gonna have to be constantly aware of too. Yeah. Know, right yeah. alongside of this. Yeah. Oh, it, it's so. It, it's, it's. This does hard. not appear to be one of those situations, though. No, Just, you know. no. I'm I'm glad to see that somebody who had this serial kind of behavior was caught. Yeah. People and, like this, um, people like Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, it's like, oh, dude. Those guys need to just, guy. just f off. Yeah, I, mean, they, I know. It's like, oof. They're just they're destroying know. lives. Yeah, for sure. There's no other way to put it, you know. Okay, real quick. Remember a couple weeks ago we were talking about vaping and it being marketed to teenagers. And do you think it's been marketed to teenagers? And we had such an interesting discussion in the comments and on the stream. So thank you guys for that. That was really interesting. There were some of you who said it helped you quit uh, smoking. Some of you said that kids uh, that vape that you know maybe don't even know what they're smoking. They just think it's nothing. Water vapor. They don't really realize that there's tobacco in it or whatever. So now the FDA has declared youth vaping an epidemic. Epidemic. And has announced an investigation. They also said that I believe they're pinning it firmly on Juul. Oh. Because of the, oh, because the marketing. Because of the marketing. You know, I'll flavors. bet they're afraid of Camel happening again. Oh, or Joe Camel, the yep. cool guy. Yeah, that was yeah. clearly marketed towards kids. Younger people. Uh, younger and kids, uh, yeah. younger people. So yeah, they had a cartoon, you know? Yeah. It's, come on. I mean, and this was right. back in it, back in when there were no adult cartoons yet. Mm -hmm. That was not a thing, right. you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, years, years and years ago. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. I, I can see them maybe want to just be really tough on on the marketing side of things yeah like yeah. look like we can't tell you that it's because part of that interesting conversation we have is when we found that nicotine's not in it right so it's like so like the carcinogenic part wasn't <laughs> in it yeah uh, or like I just thought it was flavored air yeah or no or i'm sorry nicotine like was in it right but like the tar and everything else that was carcinogenic oh that's right. i think it was that finding out that the nicotine part of it was not the carcinogen it was the addictive part right but not the carcinogen yes so Which that started to be like so that, wait a minute yeah. So what we're saying is that vaping doesn't cause cancer. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. so that, that kind of gave me a very different view of it, especially mm -hmm. coming from someone who was basically brainwashed to be like, smoking tobacco bad, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like it was, cause I mean, it is, but it is. I mean, but they, they pushed that so hard. Mm -hmm. that if you hear the word nicotine, you're like, oh my God, do, do, do. Like yeah. things go off, they're like, this will kill you. Yeah. And then learning that like, oh, maybe actually the components that, the bad components, if you remove them and you have vaping, yeah. that's an interesting thing. And maybe makes me think a little differently about it. I have to read a little bit more about it to really formulate my opinion. Sure. So that's why it surprises me when the FDA will come out and say that it's an epidemic. Yeah. Well, they gave Juul, I believe it was 30 days, 30 or 60 days to change their marketing and just say, look, you got to change it now because it's an epidemic and just change your marketing. We want to see it. We want to approve it before you put it back out there. And it, it, you got to do something about it. Not like, is it? Is it not? They're like, nope, we're not even messing around anymore. So I thought that was an interesting. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I thought that was an interesting follow-up to this whole thing, which brings me to my next point. So I follow Andy Richter on okay. Twitter. So <laughs> he had this thread that had me dying. It said, to keep kids from vaping, vapes should only come in adult flavors like extremely salty, booze breath. Look at these. They're amazing. Genitalia. Step uncle. Oh ultrasound gel. <laughs> coffee pee. Medication. Escrow papers. Uh, escrow. <laughs> uh, escrow papers is good. Super oh onion. Uh, Super onion. I, I forgot, forgot oysters, oysters Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Good lord. Oh, uh, so good. Microwave where someone reheated seafood. <laughs> Colonoscopy. Wooden nickels and refrigerator baking soda. Uh, <laughs> hair sweat. Floor sag. Baggage claim, French guy, book, French book barn, guy. glory hole tape, break room, new bus, uh, Best Buy. Yeah. You know what? Funny about Maddie, the new car smell. 
drives oh him my God. nuts. The new car, I, I, there's, I, I'd be curious. I really, because I never yeah, really put this out there. I totally Is there about anybody that. else in the comment section that has the same thing? The new car smell to me, the brand new car smell, yeah. makes me feel instantly nauseous. Yeah. And very nauseous. Um, and especially when it's hot. Oh, like yeah, if yeah. sun's like been plastic. beating in the car plastic, and I sit right? in like a car that's been sitting in the sun and it's a brand new car, it makes me feel like I throw up immediately. And it has done that for me before in the wow. past. When I was little, I did throw up from it um, on, on a few different occasions. I didn't know that. Yeah, it actually made me like completely vomit. And wow. I can, and I, I get motion sickness. Yeah, but this is we're talking about like I got into a car and two blocks down the road and I threw up. Wow. Like it was almost immediate. It's, I, I've had. Wow, does anybody else have this? I, even, I don't even enjoy happened it, uh, with us. I mean, it, I didn't throw up, but I, I even had when we, we got new cars uh, some years ago. Yeah. And when we got them yeah. and I first got in it, I, I definitely had one or two moments after the sun had been beating in it that I just had a feeling in my nose. I felt like, yeah, yeah. like and I was, whoa, okay. Yeah. I had to like catch myself. Yeah. But does I anybody remember, else have that? Oh, I don't I, know why. I felt so bad. Yeah. I, I've never heard of that. I don't enjoy it. But it's always freaked me out when yeah. people have things that the are flavored new car yeah. smell. I I'm like, why would you that? do that? Yeah, I, oh, I'm always like, oh my gosh, poor Maddie. I yeah. know. But um, anyway. this one, I like this. So a new car over- smell, that, that, yes, would, that would that do would me be for in. you. Yes. I like overdue full dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. That is one of my, like, oh, I hate that smell. Yeah. I hate it. Hot dog water. Athlete's foot medicine. Wet dog found sleeping on a sofa. Infected heel blister. That's gross. Why the hell would you even say that? But if you have any disgusting adult smells yeah, I mean, <laughs> that, let's solicit those <laughs> that you think yeah. would make an, a vape flavor that would turn away you know some teenagers oh Put it in the my comments. god i like these yes oh my gosh i don't even know which one i would pick maybe extremely salty nut meats Nut meats. <laughs> Just so I can say it out loud, be like, oh, which one do you got? I got nut meats. Uh, one's own blood. I missed that one. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But. All that brought me to this thread, which is what I really did want to show you. It's just this thread I got the of, like, first one is smell. extremely salty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. Okay. It's time for the celebrated of the week and, and uh, puns. Pun, puns. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not the right one. Yeah. What the heck is this? Hold on. I'll do the whole thing again. Okay. It's time for the subreddit of the week. And, and uh, this week is puns. I puns. Love, I love me a good pun. Yeah, puns Don't are good. Don't you? Puns could be good. Look at this. This one had me giggling. No credit taken. So what are y'all in for? Look at it. Oh my oh, god. And battery. Yeah. And money laundering. <laughs> <laughs> I I love puns. If you have if you have a pun, yes. send it to me. They, these are Tweet dangerously to close me. to dad jokes. They're not always potato. exactly dad jokes, but she's my sweet potato. I am. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <gasps> Let's get them! <laughs> Why don't we have them? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was nice of him. One tectonic plate bumped into another and said, sorry, my fault. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at <laughs> face on <there. laughs> It's like that fish meme. Yeah. You know, where it's just like uh, that- I, <laughs> I love those. <laughs> Should I take my dog to the vet? Look at that. Oh my god. I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. I know. That's I the top of all yes, time. That is good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Ah. Uh, uh, wow. That, that's just cute. That's pretty cool, though. Jeez. Where'd you get that? I forgot those existed. These were real. I think so. I don't think I've ever seen these in my life. Black on black on black looks amazing. I think so. It does. I'm not sure anymore. Wow. Mmm. What is this? Highways. Bill Murray, we should legalize cannabis in all 50 states, use the taxes to repair roads and highways, and call it Operation Pothole. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Oh. That's a pretty good. Yes, is that he is good. really on Twitter? <laughs> yeah, why am I not following why am I him? Not following does Bill he Murray? Just tweet stuff like that all the Bill time? Murray. Oh my gosh. He says he thinks of a joke and him. just puts it out there? Uh, I'm sure he'll grow up to live a healthy life. I'm going to deliver the baby. Actually, we like him to keep <laughs> you <laughs> 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 deliver. Uh, <laughs> Are we just really old? Is anybody else finding this I, funny? I am loving this. Oh this my is god, great. this is amazing. That's I'm just gonna do a couple more. That's it. That's a foot, and that's a foot. That's a knee. That's a knee. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh gosh, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> the guy who stole my antidepressants, I hope you're happy now. Aww. Aww. Wait. Oh, is that it? That's it. Oh, okay. That's kind of cute, uh, though. What's this Batman? I guess this Batman sculpture was made out of just ice. Hey. Okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. All right. Can you draw me a green pig in a desert and a witch's hat? Oh, that's really good. Mmm, <laughs> a ham sandwich. <sighs> <laughs> Why did he have to be green? He's really cute, yeah, though. Yeah, he is Whoever really this cute, is, that's very good. Yes. Uh, oh. Look, he even looks like a little pickles. Okay, and lastly, uh, the Nintendo Direct was on recently, and uh, we didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing. However, there's no. a pretty large announcement from it that we got very excited about uh, regarding Animal Freaking Crossing coming to Switch in 2019. So, and, like, a mainline Animal Crossing game, not one of the, like, you know, extra offshoots, an actual Animal Crossing game coming to Switch. So, oh my God. pretty psyched about that. Um, but apparently the way they fashioned, I wish I was watching because I was just reading that the way they teased this was uh, right at the end of Direct, they were going to have this big reveal. They're doing a big thing. And they showed Isabel from uh, from Animal Crossing. Uh, be, my girl. Yeah, she hooked me up. Talking about, like, what if I was mayor? And everybody thinks, like, okay, there's going to be some offshoot about Isabel being the mayor in, in Animal Crossing. And then the big reveal was that Isabel will be in Super Smash Brothers. Mm. Um, so they're adding her to that, too. That's pretty fantastic. And then that was it. And then we're going to close it. Everyone's, like, freaking out, right? And then yeah. they say, wait, hold on, one more thing. And then they played this teaser that we're going to watch now. Can I just say, though, I thought I was ready for new Animal Crossing. I am not. I thought I was, but I just, I, I don't know if I'm ready to give up so much of my life. Maybe I am. I think I should, I think I better play as much as I can on the Switch until this happens because I don't think I'm going to get Oh no, you'll never see it again. Oh yeah. no, no. I'm going to be shaking trees to the end of time. <laughs> Picking up seashells. Changing the clock oh my God, on the I freaking Switch. Don't hate on me. <laughs> Does anybody else change the clock so you can get your fruit faster? Come on now. I do that all, he's like, why are you changing your clock? You shouldn't change your clock, you gotta wait. I, I don't have time. I have things to do. I have a house to build. I have a museum to fill. My God. All right, let's look. All right, let's find oh my it. God. Here I'm we go. Oh my gosh, get it! Can you maximize that? Oh. Excited. Oh, it's okay. Oh my God. Oh, the power went out. <gasps> oh my god, that voice! Oh, I went to go click. <laughs> I went to go like this. He builds our houses. I love this game. Might be my favorite game. Is that it? I think that's it. There it is. That's it? So 2019. And, uh, I know the caption on Nintendo's video on their channel, on their YouTube channel, says that it's a mainline Animal Crossing game. So it's not one of like the little offshoots of yeah. the tiny thing. Yeah, it's actually We're going to be a legit. Bowl, a thick boy. A sequel. The next Animal Crossing game. Yeah, so. Uh, I guess let's see, I'll just play that all the time. Oh my God. When that guys, comes out. The last one on 3DS, like. And you can so easily drop in and out of that on stream too, and just be like, because this is just oh, gonna no, walk no, around no. like this all day, and this will come down for streaming and just put it in the dock. You be like, hi guys, and just stare at the screen, do this at the end of the stream, and be like, thanks, here's the raid. And they pick us up and walk upstairs like this. Probably, that's all that's gonna happen. Probably, oh my gosh, I built my house to the biggest it could possibly get. I had like a fruit room with all different fruit. I had like a red room. Here's a TV room. that looks like an apple. Yeah, here's a TV that looks like an apple. <laughs> yes, I had a whole bunch of stuff in my fruit room. Oh my god, my house was so freaking cute. I had every tree, I had my museum filled up. After a while, 
while, there was nothing else for me to do, really, than to just go through all the seasons and maybe go fishing at that little fun island or whatever. And then I was kind of like, well, I, I guess, you know, and then I started playing it less and less because I did everything. And then you go back in and they're like, where have you been, Mayor? I think it was Mayor Button. <laughs> yeah, the reason Lizzie hasn't gone back in is because she'll feel bad. Yes! Because everyone's going to hear her town and they go feel bad about Everything's it. Everything's going to be overgrown. It's like the Nintendogs. Yeah. You know? Oh, Nintendogs. Nintendo dogs, it's like they're like waiting to be fed. I'm yeah, like, like, I can't go back in. They're going to yell. Oh. Or like I, we already brought up uh, what was Noodle. Oh, from the PlayStation. From iPad. PlayStation uh, 3 iPad. iPad. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I had this little munchkin, this little yeah. purple thing and everything. And then, you know, when you don't take care of them for a while, their fur gets kind of grody and they get hungry. <laughs> and I hadn't played for like a couple weeks. And I'm like, are you going to look so sad? She wouldn't go back. That's the reason she stopped I playing. I can't be the only one who did that, right? <laughs> Come on, guys. But I, I just, I love this game too much. Too much. Oh my gosh. How am I going to get anything done? We are so yeah. freaking busy. Yeah, that's going to be it. Productivity <sighs> down the toilet. I know. I know. It's nice knowing you guys. It's been real. <laughs> we got T minus how many days? I know. Until 2019, and then we're screwed. Oh, then it's that's over. 2019, Lizzie. Yeah, it's yeah. Just 2019, gone. Lizzie. Animal, just it's just a, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, like. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this that was this episode of BS on the Internet. Yeah. And if you'd like to read more about anything that we talked about, links are in the description. Mm -hmm. And if you like this video, please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye. bye.